Usain Bolt is without a doubt the fastest human being in history and he's also widely considered as the greatest athlete there has ever been. When you think of Usain Bolt's quickest races ever, rightly so, his 100 meter world record of 9.58 seconds comes to mind, where he ran a whole 0.11 seconds faster than anybody else has ever done before at the IAAF World Championship 2009 in Berlin. You might also think of his 200 meter world record, where he ran 19.19 seconds at the same world championships just four days later. But what if I were to tell you that Usain Bolt has actually run faster than both those records? For obvious reasons you wouldn't believe me. It was a wet and miserable day at the Great Manchester City Games in the May of 2009 and Bolt was hoping for a solid season opener leading into the 2009 season where he ended up breaking the 100 metre and 200 metre records. However, on this particular day Bolt's usual blistering speed was in doubt as just three weeks before race day Bolt had a car crash in Jamaica when he had to get thorns cut out of his feet. Training was very good over the winter and spring, but it was just a few days after the car accident when I injured my foot, so I didn't have the best preparation. It even looked as if Bolt wouldn't be able to make the race, as his concerned coach cancelled all of his racing calendar. But in a fortunate turn of events, Usain Bolt refused to listen as he wanted to meet the Manchester United team on the same weekend as the City Games weekend. And just a day before he visited the Manchester United training ground, where he met the likes of Cristiano Ronaldo, Rio Ferdinand, Ryan Giggs and Wayne Rooney, who were in total admiration of him and his athletic abilities. But as it came to race day, Bolt finally made it. The weather was okay to start the day off, but towards the time of Bolt's race, the weather had taken a turn for the worse, to no surprise of English natives. The weather was simply horrible that day, and some of the athletes racing before Bolt were forced to pull up with cramp and they warned Bolt not to race, as it was too cold. The organisers of the race then had to convince Usain that it would all be okay, even saying the weather would clear up, so he agreed. To add to this, there was also no warm-up area, so Bolt was forced to warm up in a small VIP area inside the building. Clearly, these were far from ideal conditions compared to what Bolt is used to, making what happens next even more unbelievable. As Bolt walked out onto the track, he was able to do some strides to loosen his legs out. And in typical Bolt fashion, one of the race organisers recalls him down the other side of the track, doing his lightning bolt poses just 90 seconds before the race was due to start. I find it amazing how just over a minute and a half away from the race, Bolt still makes the effort to greet the fans and make their day, whereas other athletes would be stone cold and dead serious. The organiser also recalls that as Usain walked back down the track, high-fiving all of the spectators. He then said to Bolt, I need you now, and his attitude completely changed. This just shows how Usain always puts the fans before himself, possibly getting himself into trouble, just to put a smile on somebody's face, which contrasts to most athletes. But now it's time for the race. As the gun blew to signal the start of the race, Bolt lunged forward, almost slipping, which is probably due to the wet conditions. From then on, Bolt started to use his power gaining speed and momentum which the other athletes could not cope with, covering 10.45 metres per second. He covered the first 100 metres in a very fast time of 9.91 seconds, but it was only at the 50 metre mark that he really got going. At 50 metres he hit his peak speed which he maintained until the finish, covering the ground through 50 to 150 metres in an unprecedentedly and simply outstanding 8.7 seconds. Yes, you heard that right, 8.7 seconds, a full 0.88 seconds faster than his 100 metre record. Bolt then went on to finish his 150 metres in 14.36 seconds, which is almost 0.4 seconds ahead of Pietro Menea's 150 metre record of 14.8 seconds. What's more, Bolt's race would also count as a certified world record, as the organisers of the race went to great lengths to ensure the race followed the IAAF's strict criteria as well as it only being a tailwind of 1.1 metre per second, which is inside the world record criteria. This means that this is the fastest race of all time, which therefore creates the argument that 150 metres is optimal race distance, as it allows the athletes to hit their top speed. The 150 metres is longer than the 100 metres, where the distance is too short for the athletes to get going whereas it's also shorter than the 200 metres, which is arguably too long, as the athletes lose their form towards the end due to fatigue. As a result, there's also an argument that the 150 metre race should be included in more major competitions, such as the World Championships and Olympics. 
After the end of the race, Bolt also revealed that he had actually ran too far and he thinks he could have run faster. My agent told me to finish at the clock, so I actually ran farther than I needed. I slipped at the start too, so I could have run faster. This shows that even on a miserable day in horrible conditions, Bolt managed to pull it out of the bag and run arguably the greatest race of all time, suggesting that this point was actually Bolt's peak in his career. And if we saw him run 100 metres at that point, he could have lowered his world record even further. Anyway, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned a little more about Usain Bolt than you did at the start. But if you did enjoy it, it would be great if you could like the video and subscribe, which would be greatly appreciated.